Hello, welcome back to my weekly vlogs. My name is Sarah, if you're new here, we are gonna be starting a New York City fall weekend in my life. Right now, I am on my way to Soho. I'm gonna try and check out the new Jack Moose store and they're giving away croissants and orange juice and I just wanna see the setup. I am a little nervous that I'm gonna get there and the line is gonna be super long, but I just don't wanna wait in line um, too long. I'll wait in a small line. But last night, my boyfriend and I went to Pura Vida, which we actually went to in Miami. So we are very, very excited to have it here in the city. So we did that last night. And then after Pura Vida, we went to Salt and Straw, which we also went to in Miami. So if you look up the Miami vlog, we went to both of those places. So we were like, are we just having a Miami night again in New York City? So it was so cool to go. Salt and Straw is one of the best ice cream spots for sure. There are a few ice cream spots that I love in the city, but I am happy that Salt and Straw is here. They have one in West Village and the Upper West Side. We went to the West Village location and we only waited in line for like a little bit. Um, it actually wasn't that crazy, as crazy as we thought it was gonna be. Just to kind of recap you guys on this past week, I had a good work week and nothing eventful really happened to share with you guys but I did get a haircut I think on Wednesday after work and I'm back to being like obsessed with my natural and healthy hair just taking a shower and styling it this morning was such a good feeling because I feel like my ends aren't dead anymore you know like when you need a haircut and you're like brushing through your hair and it's just so knotted like that's how it felt last week and then today it was like so much easier to just like maintain so this is your reminder to just go get a baby trim because it makes a world's difference you'll fall back in love with your hair again my hair stylist is trying so hard to get me to color my hair he's like for fall you should get some highlights and I'm like absolutely not for you guys that don't know I used to have blonde short hair and it was so hard to maintain obviously because my hair is so dark but it was just for the time being in college it was fun um, and it was like very me at the time but now I am very into my natural hair I do not want to get highlights I kind of want to darken it but then I just go back and forth and I'm like my hair is so natural and healthy right now so I'm like I better not I better not do that that is like the most eventful thing that happened this week. This morning, I woke up and went for a run. It's so beautiful. October is the best month to visit New York if you are thinking about coming. October is such a beautiful, beautiful month. The weather is always good. The sunsets are always amazing. And it's always like a little bit chilly in the morning and then it kind of warms up during the day and it's like perfect fall where it's like not too cold. I'm trying to soak in these last few runs that I can before it gets too cold to run outside. I refuse to run in the winter. I will not do it. You will not see me in leggings and a long sleeve shirt with like earmuffs. This is not my thing. I would rather be inside or I will probably just use my building gym. Didn't have a volleyball game this week, so I feel like having a volleyball game on Monday just kind of motivates me for the rest of the week to get some movement in. And honestly, I've not been good with movement this week, but it felt really good to just get in a run this morning and take a shower. And I played with Hudson outside because it's just beyond beautiful. Um, and now I'm on my way to Jack Moose. So fingers crossed, it's not too crazy. I did see yesterday he had his opening and there were maybe like 100 people outside so i'm not trying to do that but if it's just too crazy i might just like pop into some stores it's only 11 i'm not sure if the stores open at like 11 or 12 but i just wanted to like get out this morning i don't know just kind of explore so fingers crossed it's not too crazy but let's go check it out okay i'm about to pull up but 
there's a no parking sign because they're shooting something for Jack Moose. That's so cool. <laughs> Brooklyn thank god because there were so many people there this morning I waited in line for an ungodly amount of time that I will never admit to and I will probably never do that again because oh, it was a long time guys but I got my croissant and my orange juice and then I got to check out the store which was actually insanely beautiful and I'm so glad that I got to see the store we have an engagement party tonight so I don't really want to be out and about all day just because I need to conserve my energy if we're going to go out tonight. And my boyfriend and I are going to go to dinner before we go out for the engagement party. I might hit up some stores around here. I'm not sure. I'm also trying to figure out what I'm going to wear tonight. I think I'm going to wear this dress. Let me show y'all. All right, these are the options that I'm thinking about. I could obviously wear this one, which I feel like I wear a lot. I mean, I love it, but I feel like I might get too much use out of this. I do have other good options. I really like this one. This one is from Alice and Olivia, and I got it a few years ago. I still just love it. And then I saw that Alexander Wang came out with the same dress literally like I think the following year <laughs> but and the only difference is it has like a little charm here with an a but I think this is really cute I could put it like a turtleneck under it or where does this with some black heels I don't know this might be fun I also have this I think this is Elliot yeah this is actually really pretty I wore this to a rehearsal dinner when I was in Italy and it's kind of like this asymmetrical which is really nice and then this is kind of like a cow neck and it kind of hangs and then I would just do some heels with it so I'm not sure but I'm kind of leaning more towards this guy and I feel like it's like nice enough to wear to it an engagement party I don't know I'll probably wear this but we will see after I try them on with heels and stuff. Just wanted to catch you guys up. It's such a beautiful day. I feel like I've been saying that like every vlog. We've had such amazing weather lately. And I feel so lucky because last year it was not like this. We kept having rain on the weekends like every single weekend. And we would always talk about it at work and be like, of course the weekend is dreary because it was always sunny during the week. But now we have the best weather and I also feel like we had the best summer weather too so I hope it just continues yeah probably gonna head out in just a little bit and just stay around Brooklyn today this is gonna be a shopping vlog my boyfriend and I are planning on going like full out shopping tomorrow so and I think we're either gonna go to the outlets that are in I forget but I know it's like upstate New York and they have like designer outlets which is so good i've been a few times and i'm like ready to go shopping for fall because when i purged my closet i feel like i gave away so many clothes and now i have nothing i still have like some of my good pieces but i just feel like i haven't shopped at zara in so long 
and all those pieces are the ones that I toss because I was like I really just get one use out of them and I'm tired of that and I just want to continue to bring good pieces into my closet pieces that I'm going to have for a long time and then I was looking at my closet and I'm like the pieces that are still sitting in my closet today are the ones that I spent a little more money on and I feel like they're unique enough to keep them forever and ever it's not like they're like trendy items so that is what I want to continue to do and that is our goal on Sunday so I will let you guys know what I wear tonight and then tomorrow be prepared because we're going shopping okay I was just so productive and I finally switched my closet over from summer to fall and winter and I have all my turtlenecks and my sweaters and my jackets and I still have like pretty bright clothes over here for fall but they're all like sweaters and stuff. I feel very organized and then I folded up all of my summer stuff and put it in a big bin but I still have to kind of organize these and group them by like dresses and my sweaters and pants and all that stuff because right now it's just like a jumbled mess but I will definitely do that. I just thrifted this cute neck scarf. We are just running some errands in Williamsburg and they had this really cool flea market and I love the colors. Hey, we are heading to the engagement party and I actually love my look. This is the scarf that I thrifted this morning and I just put it with my outfit. I'm drinking a parch, I think it's called. And this is my favorite flavor, the desert margarita. It's so good. And then they also have a Paloma, but I think this one is my favorite right now. But this is my fit. I don't think I'm gonna do a jacket because I feel like it ruins my look. <laughs> but I'm notorious for never bringing a jacket when it's like winter, but this is my fit. We are gonna go to jeans before the engagement party and then head on over. today I kind of have a list in my head of things that I want to get like I need brown boots I need black pants I want some like fall dresses oh and I really really want like a trench coat or a coat of some sort that is special and cute so hopefully we find some good things but to catch you guys up on yesterday so we went to jeans and we didn't have a, a reservation we just walked in and they didn't have the cookie that I've been seeing on the gram they said that they haven't had it for a little bit and I think that their menu changes because when we were looking on Yelp they also had these lobster rolls that we didn't see on the menu and a few other things but it was cool the vibe was really cool and the chicken came with fries and it was probably the best chicken dish I've had so far and we got the carrot salad which is actually from their farm upstate they bring their vegetables and stuff down to their restaurant and the carrot salad it was a special and it was so so yummy and then we were gonna get dessert the dessert sounded really good but we were going to our friends engagement party so I just didn't want to be like sick and then like go to a bar and just hang out all night after eating like a big dinner and having some dessert that is what we did last night and hopefully we find some good stuff today it's such a gorgeous gorgeous fall day i'm gonna try and get some videos of the fall foliage did i say that foliage. Right? <laughs> say it foliage not foliage. foil Foli. foliage yes there you go <laughs> i can't say the word by itself i can't fucking say it fall foliage 
foliage and it's gonna be super pretty and fall up there and hopefully we find some good things we're stuck in traffic but hopefully we will be there soon Monday guys I am working from home today not really doing anything super eventful but I wanted to show you guys what I got yesterday shopping because there were so many good things and I could have spent like literally a million dollars but I feel like I restrained myself in a good way and I got a really good find so I wanted to show y'all what I got and I think that it's perfect for fall and I'm actually gonna wear them to work tomorrow so let me show them to you the best things come in a blue box, but I went to Stuart Weitzman and I got the most insane shoes for fall. And guys, they were on like major, major sale. And I almost got a Bottega coat. And then I decided not to get it because I cannot buy anything that is just like a basic color. It was a navy Bottega coat. I mean, and it looked flawless on me. It was so good. And if I would have got it, I know that I would keep it forever, but I'm just not the type of person that can just buy like a solid coat. Like I feel like it needs a pattern or something unique to it for me to buy it. So, but it was like originally $4,000 and it was on sale for like a thousand. And for a really nice coat that you're gonna have forever basically I feel like that's not a bad price but I don't know I keep on searching for coats and I just want one that's like super special and I kind of want one with pattern most people would want like a basic coat but I don't know I just don't feel like that's me but these are the shoes I got from Stuart Weitzman these were originally $600 and I paid less than 200 for these they're brand spanking new, obviously, and it's like the perfect maroon burgundy color. They are leather, and I definitely need to break them in because I feel like they're going to hurt the back of my feet right here, but oh, aren't they so good? Oh my gosh, and now I really need a good coat to just pair with them, but I got these, and then I also got some socks to go with it. Like how cute would that be? I also got these heart ones. And then I just got some ivory scalloped guys, but these are from J. Crew. I feel like they don't look like they're from J. Crew. They look like they're from Cezanne, but I think they're super cute with these because I don't have any socks to go with them and I'm not sure how I'm gonna style them yet because I feel like I need like a little bit of a cropped ankle to show them off, right? <laughs> but I love them. I definitely wanna go back to the Woodbury Commons because I legit spent all day there. I think I went to like 15 stores and I basically tried on something from every store. I was really there to shop, but I only came home with these items but i love them so much and i think that they are really good finds but i am just going to keep working from home today and then i have a volleyball game tonight which i'm very excited about i always look forward to that on mondays and then i am going into the office tomorrow and then on wednesday morning i'm flying to houston and then i will be going to dallas later in the weekend with my girlfriends so I will give you guys a Dallas Girlfriends Weekend vlog. I'm like so excited to see my friends. I haven't seen them in so long and I'm finally meeting my besties, little baby girl. I cannot wait to meet her. I'm just really excited to have some girl time. I will give you guys a 
Dallas travel vlog next weekend. And I hope you guys enjoyed this fall weekend of my life in New York City. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next vlog. Bye guys.